Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. I'm Brick Hunger, and today we are playing Minecraft. And as you can see, we are back on the Buddies Craft server, which I showed you guys last time with my museum that is right behind me. Um, I wanted to bring you guys back here. Uh, I got a lot of great responses from my last episode of showing you guys my museum that I've been working on a little bit, but I wanted wanted to work on it with you guys this time so if you look around I've changed a little things up um, I've switched out some of the wood there put that with hardened clay instead of having a weird gross nest thing I've put this kind of creeper face uh, this is all granite and stuff I finished that up today what I want to work on is the ceiling um, I hate doing ceilings, it's actually one of my least favorite parts of a project. So I thought that I could do that on camera, and I'm most likely just going to time lapse it. But before we do that, I want to show you guys around the server a little bit. So last episode all you saw was this kind of spawn area. Uh, you didn't see too much of it though. So over here I have this crummy little stable area I've built. Um, yeah, and so people just put their horses here. I want to fix that up in a later time. The only reason I haven't done it now is because I've been kind of busy and haven't had much inspiration. But hopefully we can fix that up in a future episode. Um, I think I said that I built these farms. I think they look kind of cool. I mean, probably could do a lot better, but it's a pretty simple little design. Um, I'm not sure whose place is this. I don't remember. Might be, uh, Everon, but, like, does it say on the side? No. Um, if we come over this way, let's sprint. Oh, is my sprint key weird? Oh, that was sprinting. Oh. Bruh, I don't know. Um, this right here is kind of like a subway system. If we come down here, you'll see it's all purr purr. We got some, all of the new nether, not nether blocks, uh, and blocks. Um, up here I built this little area. It's kind of like where we keep all of storage. I have a bunch of stone in here and like just random stuff for people if they want to take it. Um, we also have a pig that is a work in progress. It's got its legs down. Um, oh, that clicking was our chicken cooker. Uh, I don't know who made this exactly, but pretty nice. I don't use chicken, I use steak, but it's a nice thing to have it spawn. Um, and here we have a mail room. Uh, if we come back out here, uh, can't really see it, but there's a envelope, kind of a pixel art thing, which is pretty cool. Everyone has a mailbox, and yeah, it's pretty cool. I've gotten a couple things in the mail. We also have a bunch of, uh, book stuff here with foliage and I think it looks pretty nice um ooh look a skeleton ooh didn't even have know where it's coming oh that was a bad shot my bad next if we come over this way a little bit we will oh there's a zombie is there like a bed around here cause that would be ideal but like I was saying let's go ahead and I'll show you these other little areas we have. An iron farm, which I think it's working now. It was broken for a little while there. Uh, I have a bunch of reeds that I planted over there for all the bookshelves in my my museum. Someone is built, bu yeah, building? No, let's use proper English. Uh, someone is building a cool lighthouse. Uh, we're building a wall around the city just to protect it from mobs. There's a chicken head. I think that's the design that Mumbo Jumbo made. Um, but like, it opens up and you get your chicken. Cool dog built this, I guess. And then you just close it back up. Over here we have AC Shop and the Derpy Police's house. And I forget whose build this is, but it's like a secret entrance that you have to have a special key. We have a couple little farms, kind of just little things. So, over here we have some farms. Uh, there's wheat and 
vines and cows up in there. I built this little area um, just because there was this huge drop off because a lot of people mine sand around here. So I built this kind of platform thing. I mean, it looks okay. If anybody would want to change it, they can. Just kind of a cool little thing. And I made little areas for people to put shops if they wanted to have a shop. Yeah, here's one of Caitlin's builds. I don't know who this is. It might be Pete. I don't know. Um, yeah, that's basically our spawn area. This isn't exactly spawn, I know, but like, it's close enough. There's a lot more room out in the desert. And, oh, I forget who this build is. Let's see if there's a sign. No, there isn't. Well, that was convenient. Caitlin is known for being a duck, so here is her duck over the mountains, which I think is pretty adorable. But yeah, let's go head back to spawn. Alright guys, so we're back here at my museum, and so like I said, I wanted to get started on the roof, and I have kind of a little idea for it. I think it should look pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and we'll start building. We'll grab some materials, I guess. I kind of want to make it out of the same materials I have all around here, like the oaks and the spruce. As you can see, my chests are just cluttered, which is great. Just great. Um, let's just gather all of the spruce that we have, because I know we're going to need a bunch of that. Uh, looks like we don't have that much. We might have to go tree chopping today, but we'll see how things go. Is that all the oak we have? Let's convert that all to planks. Alright, so, ooh, we also need dirt, my bad. Alright, so I got my dirt, and as you can see, if you look up, you'll see that I already laid it out with spruce slabs. So we're just going to go ahead and I am going to pillar up with some dirt and we are going to get up in here. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to wrap this thing around in, ooh, what do I want to wrap it around in? Let's wrap it around in some stairs. Like a so. Yeah, I like that. Alright. I'm going to work on that. And I'll meet you back in a minute.
Alright guys, so I just finished this whole ring around, and guys, it took me way too long. Did you see all the fails I had? Because that was ridiculous. I swear, it's like I've never played Minecraft before. Alright, but as you can see, I am running really short on wood, and it's only like the first ring. So we gotta do something about that. I wanna go and head over to KB's farm. And I would like to use his little tree chopping farm thing so that we can go ahead and get some more wood because this is ridiculous. I swear, I had so much, but now it's just gone. I don't know. And so let's go ahead, head over there. Let's go ahead and chop down these trees to get them out of the way. Um, I actually have something I want to talk to you guys about uh, while I'm chopping down these trees. So, I have actually, I don't know how to put it. Okay, so I have been struggling lately, as you can see in my videos, with my frame rate. And that is because with Minecraft, uh, lately it's been so hard for me to record it because of just, I don't know, something in the game, some type of mechanic or whatever. But like... It's making it really hard to record with 60 FPS for me. I have a low quality graphics card, but when I'm recording and stuff, uh, it's like at 50 frames per second, like 50 to 60. But when I'm not recording, I'm getting like 130 frames per second. It's crazy, like the difference. And so that's kind of where I'm at right now. I'm just kind of frustrated. I don't have enough money to get a new graphics card. Um, I don't know how I'd be able to afford it at this point, but like, so if you guys could just like bear with me with my whole graphics card slash Minecraft issues, that'd be <laughs> great and I'd really appreciate it, but that's where I'm at with it. Uh, let's go ahead and we're going to plant some oak and yeah, I will be back with you guys in a hot minute. Alright guys, so I have just finished up chopping down some trees. I'm waiting for all of the stuff to come into the system, uh, into the hoppers. And it didn't take me that long. It was probably quicker than spruce trees, actually. But like, we have all of our- oh, did I leave a block up there? Man, I am a jerk. Uh, I'll get that later. I'll come back for that. Um... But yeah, now we can start our building. Ooh, look at the pretty sunset. That's pretty. Okay. Let's go head back to my base. So, I want to do an oak border, I think, around it. So, what I'm going to do is... I'm going to go ahead and quickly do that. And I'll check back with you in a couple minutes. We'll see actually how far I get because this is going to take a little while. Yeah. See ya soon. Alright guys, so we are back and I have done some work. It has been a couple days. It has actually been a whole weekend since I last recorded. And I have gotten some stuff done. As you can see, I have almost finished the roof. I just need to get that section. And that's section over there done and I thought I was gonna do that with you guys since I didn't record the whole process of me doing it over here but um, it actually has been kind of a long process I didn't want to like bore you guys with it um, it's just not super fun things to watch so you guys can just see what I've been doing or you guys can see like how I made this and stuff um, I think I really like this roof design or ceiling design. I've had it in my single player series for quite a while now and uh, I really like it. It's pretty simple. It doesn't take up that much room like depth wise for the ceiling which is nice. I don't know why I carved out these holes to be that big um, or that deep. And but I don't know. I just really like it. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 
As you can see, we're already starting to poke out onto the surface, so I need to be careful of what I'm doing. Um, yeah, I think right there. I mean, that looks right. Let's go ahead and branch out a little bit. Um, but yeah, we are making huge strides for the last little bit of my museum. Uh, it's been a huge process to try to get this even, like, wrapped up. But I think it's coming along nicely. I've gotten a bunch of good support on my last episode, as I said before. Uh, let's break that. Oh, I put that in the wrong spot. My bad. Let's get that wood. I am running kind of low on wood for the moment, so I need to, like, save every little bit I have. Um, right now I'm on with M, and I don't know what she's working on, but maybe we'll find out in a little bit. Uh, let's go ahead. We're going to have to make some more half slabs in a second. Just get all of this laid out. Three, one, two. Oh, yep, just like that. Luckily, I have a workbench just right here. Um, let's just go like that. I have a bite of steak. Let's grab that. Yeah, I think it's really starting to come together. All we have to do is add my last two dinosaurs after this, so that should be fun. And I'm going to be doing that in the next episode, not this one. Just because this one's gonna starting to run a little bit long. Uh, let's go ahead, place these here. There we go. Do do. Uh, let's go down the middle. Uh, is this the right place? Um, no. That wasn't even remotely in the right spot. There we go. Okay, place that. Pretty simple stuff, just a bunch of squares. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's kind of not the funnest thing to watch, so I'm glad that I'm not having you guys look at this during the whole video. It's just because it just takes a little bit of time. It's not fun. Uh, go ahead, place these blocks here. Do, do, do a nice square, leave the centers uh, for the light fixtures, what are they called, the redstone lamps. Um, I actually haven't used redstone lamps in this build at all, besides the roof, so it's kind of a fun thing to have. Hopefully that will be enough. Climb back up here, yada yada yada. Um, the only thing that I'm not too sure about with this build is that it is just so brown that it's kind of crazy how like dark the room is. I kind of wanted to make it lighter, but it obviously didn't work out, sadly. Uh, place that there. Maybe I should have added some more, like, bright colors just to, like, lighten things up a tad. Put this here. Uh, and a column down the center. Like so. Uh, like a so. Pew, pew, pew. I was originally planning to have this thing going on both sides, but I didn't make the room big enough, so I just kind of squished it all in there. I am making these. Okay, there we go. That should be enough. Oh, there's my dog in the corner <laughs> making a little bit of noise. If you hear him. Uh, all right. Gonna run this way. Not fall off of all of the scaffolding. Cause I've already done that too many times today. And it's extremely embarrassing. Uh, cause I'm the one that placed it. Uh, Alright. Oh. 
then that is probably even more embarrassing. Placing the wrong blocks. Let's get back into things. Do do do. There we go. Uh, we need a thing right there. Dig this out. Place our bajillion stairs that we're not going to have enough of. Then we're going to have to go down and make some more. Yeah, there we go. Okay, just a little bit more. After we add this wood in here, we're going to have to add in the redstone lamps and what else? The redstone lamps and their torches and then some, uh, what are they called? Oh, some of the oak slabs for down the middle. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I am awful with building on camera because I am the least prepared person ever. Okay. Just a second ago, um, I had to ask the owner of the server, KB, to help with... Oops, Skype message, my bad. Uh, to help with placing some of the ceiling blocks because right and within this little ceiling section, uh, we had to, what am I saying? What am I saying? Oh, I did this wrong, guys. Guys, I did it wrong. Oh, that's frustrating. But uh, right in the little section, okay, okay. <laughs> but right in that section up there, is the spawn chunks where like you actually spawn in and so like it's all protected and stuff so I had to ask him to help place the blocks because it wasn't letting me which was a little bit annoying but luckily he was able to get it done pretty fast good guy KB okay and this goes like this if I am correct yes of course I'm correct Okay, there we go. Break that, break that. Uh, place that like that, like a so. There we go. And there we go. Do it on this side. All right. And... Ha. There we go. I was wondering why that one was so big. That little area. Okay, just do the same. Oh, I didn't need to break that. My bad. And I'm going to place my lamps all around. And go like that just so that I can get it from the surface. Uh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Okay, we're missing just the ones over here. And it looks... Oh, are you kidding me? Taking forever, like I've said a bajillion times. So I am super happy to finally get most of this done. Or we can just be down to the fun stuff of creating dinosaurs. Or not creating them, building them. All right, there we go. I need to eat. First, take down the scaffolding without falling off it another time. I'm gonna leave this here though because I need to fill in that oak area. All right, let's hop down, break our legs, and go put in some torches. And yeah, there we go. I'm going to quickly fill in that section and then we can wrap up the end of the episode. So I will see you guys right back.
Alright guys, so I just finished cleaning that little section. Just noticed that I missed that little spot. <laughs> Subscribe to Brick She Rule. <laughs> Uh, yeah, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Um, uh, the next video I should be having the dinosaurs built up and I'll be showing this whole place off again with all the little details, details I've been working on. But yeah, if you like this video, go ahead and like it. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe and leave a comment saying what you liked about the ceiling or if there's anything I should change about it and I will see you guys in the next episode bye bye